across the path. As I was feeling sorry for myself, Lynn had closed in on a band of wild pigs. They're feeding in a depression just below. But they've spotted him. Take the throw, Lynn. Bullseye. What an amazing throw. <laughs> we snuck up on these pigs and we've been sneaking up on them for a while. Real stealth mode. I got up here and one was walking up the bank and I tried to lead it and threw it. Connected. Perfect shot, right in the shoulder. Look at that hole. Didn't even go ah, 20 yards at the most. That was pretty exciting. This is my third boar that I've killed with a spear, but the first one on camera. And I'm really, it's not the biggest pig in the world, but any pig killed with a spear is a trophy. You can start somewhere, don't you? My ability to come here uh, and learn so much about different environments is a real blessing um, to me because I can come here and test all my products and test all my survival ideas and test all my ideas for weapons and tools and I come here so that when I talk I know what I'm talking about because I've actually done it and it's very expensive it takes two or three days to travel here but this is where I learn and this is where I grow I go clear into the most remote areas I can and I just thrive here and I hope someday you get the opportunity to come to these environments and go hunting too. What you saw there was fantastic. Broke that one inch hickory stick right in half. Um, that boomerang hits hard. Uh, there's a reason why Tim Wells is, in my opinion, the best bow hunter in the world, because he's got fantastic eye-hand coordination. He's a fantastic athlete. It's just a pleasure to see somebody that with this much skill. And uh, he's left out extremely good looking. Yes, and a head of solid bone. <laughs> Good.